Hey everyone, Chef Sue and Chef Sophia are back. We are here to show you a couple of things that you are going to need to help you cook along with us for this virtual summer camp. The first thing, always very important, wash your hands. Sing the happy birthday song twice. If you touch your face or touch something on the floor or pet your kitty cat, go wash your hands. Or doggy. Rule number one, always have clean hands. Very important. Secondly, this is a great little tip. This is a cutting board. They come in many shapes and sizes and materials, but the thing about using a cutting board, it can get a little bit wiggly and that can get dangerous. So here's a tip. A damp paper towel on your work surface. Spread it out. Put your cutting board down. It doesn't wiggle. We're good. Sophia's gonna show us a few things we're gonna need. A chef knife. Always make sure to point it down. Right, she's doing it right. You always point it down. A butter knife or a you can a cutting knife. A paring knife, right. You can always use a butter knife or a paring knife. For some of the things we're gonna do, you don't need a big, sharp chef knife. So these will do very nicely. Again, be careful because they can draw blood and we don't want bloodshed, do we? No. Okay. Two children safe knives. Make sure to hold those down too long, even though they don't look safe. I mean, they look safe. Yes, these are serrated kids' knives. You can buy them online, anywhere. They're really good to have, and they're really good for cutting lettuce. They're serrated, and yes, they are sharp. You can draw blood. Be careful. Kitchen knife? Ah. I mean, a kitchen. Kitchen scissors. You can get them anywhere, too. Uh, they're really sharp. But these are great for cutting herbs and for cutting apart a raw chicken if you wanted to break down a chicken. And fat to get off the Right, and to take the fat off. They're sharp, be careful. Here's little scissors. You could use those too for certain things, cutting herbs. Always make sure that they are clean before you begin and clean them after. Measuring spoons. You don't have to hold these down because they're not, they, they can draw blood if you like, you know, hit it hard. But... Yes, we're not gonna draw blood. Yeah. We'll try not to. Measuring spoons, measuring cups. It's very important. Um, Peelers, vegetable peelers. Again, these are sharp and they draw blood, we know. These are very important to peel a carrot. Graters, this is a grater, a box grater. This is awesome to add grated carrot to a salad. Here, you can do that while I do Don't this. Don't cut yourself though, it's very sharp. It is very sharp. A spaghetti strainer. Um, what else do we have? A can opener. Can openers are very important. Very, very important because you may want to have some tuna or some chicken salad someday, and all you have to do is pop open the can, dump it out, and you have some tuna. So that's it for our lesson number one. This is a wonderful cookbook. You don't have to have this, but this is our favorite cookbook, Ooh. and it's available pretty much anywhere. So something to think about if you've got a young chef in your life who enjoys cooking. There's lots of great information in here. And I think that's it. Our microplane and our hand grater. Ow! Okay, take it easy. We're gonna sign off for right now. We'll be back.